Okay, so Amumu is extremely strong during late game teamfights, but when you play him in the top lane, he really suffers during the early game. But this Amumu here is setting up a big minion wave to crash into Shako's tower. The plan is essentially to just skip lane phase at all costs. He is not afraid to even commit his ultimate, and now, suddenly, Shako is trapped in the massive wave, and Amumu can sneak around to proxy. Now Shako must make a painful choice. Does he let Amumu get away with this, or does he sacrifice the big wave just to try and stop him? As you can see, Shako does go after Amumu, which is objectively the worst decision, unless it wasn't Shako all along.